about two weeks ago, we did a live stream on signs of a low value woman. So it's only fair that we do a live stream on are you a low value man? This is not to shame you. This is just to educate. There may be some areas that you need to improve. So Alex finna cook. <laughs> Hope y'all ready. Low value men are parasitic in nature. Ooh. They're a liability to everyone but themselves, meaning they take more than they can give or are able to produce. Now, just a reminder here, when we use the word value, we're using it in the sense of the valuable skills and attributes a person brings to the table, not their intrinsic value as a human being. And not your intrinsic value, just what you bring to the world. We've heard this before. And when it comes to skills and attributes, nobody looks up to a low value man. Some men never live. They're just alive mm. and then they die. By the end of this video, you're not just here to provide and die. A Lux just echo, echo what I've been saying for a while now. Let's continue. You'll have a clear understanding of what a low value man is. They're a combination of everything on this list. And the goal of this video is not to shame, but to be a brutally honest cold shower that will wake you up and get you to make something of yourself. There you go. Here are 15 signs of a low value man. Number one, bottom 25% of earners. When it comes to the social hierarchy, men are ranked based on money and status because that's how society measures impact. The more valuable you are, the more value you will accrue. Low value men have none and they find it incredibly difficult to accrue value. Low value men can't even support themselves, so they're leeching off others. They live with their parents well into their 30s. I know that's going to be a sore subject right there. They live in they live with their parents well into their 30s. Now, let me clear this up. There are some cultures that you know where grown folks tend to stay with their parents for a long time right not talking about them we're not talking about those types of people because those men and women are contributing to the household what alex is talking about is those people who are lazy and are moochers who are living with their parents think uh what was that movie where um no no, no i think it was a key and peel episode where uh the, the the good son was about to get married and uh was it, uh, I think his name is Peel. I think it Peel, he was still living with his parents or whatever, and he was like hating on the uh, the other son, his brother. <laughs> Woo yes! Wow! Congratulations, little bro. More for me, I guess. That's what that means. Shut up, mom! Awesome! Sloppy seconds, at least. Right, Dad? Shut up, Mom! Silence from you! Okay. You're cut off from talking! <laughs> yes! Yes! The prodigal son hath returned! Why? Shut up, Mom! I'm eating in my room! Not talking about that. Not talking about Will Ferrell's character in uh, Wedding Crashes. Yeah. Hi, is Chaz here? Chaz, there's someone here to see you! Pick up your fucking skateboard! What the fuck do you want? Come here, brother! I... Give me a hug! <laughs> Bring it in for the real thing! <laughs> I almost numbchucked you, you don't even realize. Is this your place? No. No, 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 no. No, I live with my mom. Hey, Ma! Can we get some meatloaf? More for me and you. Look at her. Just living the dream. I love that. Hey, Mom! The meatloaf! We want it now! The meatloaf! Even though he was still uh, sneaking in with bad chicks. But yeah, he was living with his mom asking for, asking for meatloaf. They talking about them types of dudes. Not the people that have a cultural thing where you stay with your parents until you're ready to go, until you're ready to get married. So I just wanted to clear that up. Before we have somebody in the comments or in the chat that says, well, in my culture, we live with our parents for whatever. Yeah, I understand that. But they're not talking about that. We're talking about unmotivated folks. Just wanted to be clear. Let's continue. They're reliant on others for food, clothes, and basic necessities. Mommy is still cleaning his underwear and gives him money to go out. 
these are people who would rather be on welfare than get a job. Low value men are always looking for unearned money. Mm. Even when they get their hands on some money, it never sticks around. Money doesn't like being with low value men, so it leaves them easily. Mm. You'll often hear them mention how everyone who is rich is a crook while they're on their way to buy a lottery ticket and a six pack. There's no nobility in low value, but there is nobility in discipline and hard work. Being a plumber, construction worker, even waste management makes you a lot higher value than these people. Everyone respects someone who's working no matter what they do. And before some of you pat yourselves on the back, money from illegal activities disqualifies you. You hear that? Trappers, rappers, or whatever the hell y'all do, whatever they call them these days. You in the trap selling that good white or whatever y'all call it, an eight ball or 2020, whatever it is. Uh, not talk about you, street pharmacist. <laughs> Legal money. It doesn't matter if you're in the top percent of earners, if your money is shady and you can't step into the light. Going to jail or not being able to take pride in your work disqualifies you from the game of life. Even if you win the money game, you still lose, no matter what you tell yourself at night because you weren't able to do it without cheating. One of the, the best points in that, uh, when she was talking about the first point, is she said low value men are always looking for unearned money. These are the types of guys that you may see standing in line every time the Powerball is at $2 billion or something like that, buying lottery tickets and things of that nature. It's okay to play, you know, as a joke sometimes, but if you're going spending hundreds of dollars trying to win unearned money, that's a sign that, hey, man, you may not be progressing as, as, as much as you should in your normal day-to-day -day lives because you're looking to hit the jackpot or get lucky in order to get rich. And if you probably do get rich and you hit the jackpot, if you're a low-value man and you never uh, learned how to manage money, then it's probably going to leave you very shortly. You know, getting the scratch off tickets and things of that nature, you know, as a, like somewhat of a religion. Yeah, that's a, that's a sign. You may need to change that. 